Welcome back, folks. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be firing up another budget build series, this time around the blue, white, or Zorius flying or uh, flyers deck. Basically, it's a theme around having creatures with flying and flying matters. Um, so to kind of kick you off, if you're new to the, the series, what we do is we start off with a completely budget deck, all commons and uncommons, uh, with the exception of rare lands. So in this case, we have four Hallowed Fountains, four Glacial Fortress. Everything else in the deck is commons and uncommons. Uh, then normally what we do is we do a mid-budget, which is between uh, five to about 12 rares and mythics, depending on what needs. And then we will do a completely uh, non-budget, so as tuned as possible list. Uh, after all that's done, I do a really detailed write-up on the Arena subreddit where people come together, we discuss some of the card choices, I put rationale for everything in place, and it's a good way to meet your fellow uh, Magic community member. Um, so I'm going to test this one out uh, first. We might not do the three variations because the upgraded version, the way I see it, is only about 10 to 12 rares anyways so it kind of falls into that mid-budget camp so we'll see how it goes and then potentially if we want do a jeskai variant but i think the jeskai variant with uh it's kiker i think its name is the uh the new this one here i think it makes you want to play a different deck this one makes you want to play spells matter as opposed to so much playing um like with creatures uh, that have flying. So we'll probably just do the two variations. Um, also to kind of preface with this deck here, I'm going more with the flyers theme uh, as opposed to you'll see kind of a split between spirits and flyers. I've liked the flyers version better. Um, so we'll be going with something like that. So enough prefacing, let's get to the deck in question. Um, so the deck itself, we have a number of one drops. Basically, and sorry in advance if you hear a little bit of background noise, they're uh, replacing my windows downstairs. So hopefully it's not too bad. They should stop in the next little bit. Um, so we want to get down a couple like one drops early and then use a bunch of disruption and anthem effects to basically fly over opponent and smash face. Um, we're not really so much interacting as get him dead quick. Uh, so we have Healer Hawk as one of our one drops, Flying Lifelink. Uh, we have Fairy Miscreant. Uh, so if we have multiple fairies, it draws us cards. Siren Storm Tamer, if you're familiar with Mono Blue, is a protection spell. Spectral Sailor allows us to hold up like Spell Piercer and Summon and flash it in, but also late game lets us draw cards. We have Spell Pierce for disruption against like board wipes or removal. Unsummon can either be used to protect our creatures or get rid of blockers out of the way. For example, we have a hard time with Rekindling Phoenix, so bounce it to their hand. Uh, so then we have Rally of the Wings, uh, which is an anthem for all our creatures. Uh, it also can surprise them from blocking as well, which is pretty cool. So it gives us pseudo vigilance. Plus we got that sweet card art, so might as well. Uh, Favorable Winds is one of our two anthems, so all our creatures with flying get plus one one, so it boosts the team. Same with uh, Imperium Eagle, uh, gives other creatures with flying. So here we can kind of, you know, we can go say Healer Hawk into this, into this, then we have a 3-3 three, three, uh, with Lifelink. We have Winged Words, which is a better chart the course when we have flyers out, it's not conditional on us attacking. And then we have Depose Deploy. So both sides of this can be relevant. We can get a blocker out of the way and cycle it, or on their end step, we can create two tokens and then gain a bunch of life. In the sideboard, I kind of have it into three camps. Mono Red, because our deck's really bad against Chain Whirler if we don't have an Anthem out. So Cerulean Drake deals with that. It can also attack through Rekindling Phoenix, seal aways for the creature matchups, Conclave Tribunals, both for creatures, which we can cast for cheap with all our one drops, as well as Planeswalkers like Teferi or anything like that. Um, and then we have our control package where we have Negates, a Lookouts Dispersals, and Narset to keep them off the draw. So we'll run it through. I'll do a couple best of three matchups and a couple best of one matchups so you get a feel. Uh, with the budget version, I won't be playing ranked. I'll be I'll play ranked with uh, the mid-budget version uh, just so it's a little bit 
uh, more fair. I want to demo the deck properly. Um, so as we get started, quick favor to ask, if you haven't done so already, uh, the little subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. Um, it's a free and easy way to support the channel if you enjoy these series or my content in general. Uh, right now, I make nothing off these videos because I haven't reached YouTube's minimum uh, sub limit or sub requirements. Um, I'm not looking to make bank with this or quit my job. I'm just looking to offset some of the costs of buying all the packs to make these budget build videos. As you can see, I pretty much play every kind of deck that there is that's tier one or that so it's a lot out of pocket i'm just looking to offset light slightly so if you can it would be greatly appreciated as it costs you nothing and that is all my pandering uh, don't want to ask for patreon don't want to ask you to pay subs on twitch just a quick little click and again sorry if you hear a little bit of drilling he's just popping out the window right underneath me all right so here we got an anthem, so we'll keep probably a little bit too many lands, but I'm going to lead on the Hawk here to gain some life. So this is Vampire. Here's... So we're not really in, in line for blocking. No blocks here. We're just going to try to race them. Hit him for four next turn. Oh, so this is actually not vampires. This is likely Jeff Hoogland's uh, green, black, aggro. Uh, whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard. Draw a card, discard, sacrifice it, bring it all back to the hand. This is a good way to reset this once it starts getting counters on it. So now we're in a good spot. We can disrupt them, then taking a turn off for this. Oh. So I'm going to make them discard a card with Rotting Registrar first, and then I'll bounce it back to their hand. It's fine. So they're going to attack in here. And this deck by nature is referred to generally as a tempo deck. You put an early threat down to pressure your opponent and then you disrupt their game plan. So here, basically we time mock them. They get us in for one damage. They can pump this, but then they don't get to cast Registrar. Wow, and for us drawing so many lands, we should be able to win this. Their Registrar cost them two cards and six mana. Hardly made a dent, so if they don't have a board wipe here, then we're in a good spot. This matchup will bring in the seal aways and the... Okay, and we got winged words. So we'll just take the land, thins out our deck. So they survive a turn. So, see how they play out the next turn. The bag's actually a pretty good way for them to uh, get back the value from Rotting Registrar. 
It's a neat interaction there. Should have this. They need double removal spell. That's one removal spell. We're fit enough to survive. Okay, well, you're dead. So here, bring in the conclaves, bring in the sealaways. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the spell pierce. How many pirates do we have in our deck? Four, eight. Uh, rally can help. They're likely going to bring in more removal though. So maybe we get rid of... This can just slow them down. Two cuts. Two cuts. Probably rally. I don't think we want the dispersals. I'm going to be tapping out and like late. I don't want to draw that. They also haven't really showed much card draw outside of... Um... I'm sorry, I'm just going to mute for a sec while this game gets started. Sorry. As soon as he gets the window out, it should be fine. Then it's just a matter of sealing. Trying to use this time while I can't do anything around the house on the weekend to pump out a few videos. Um, going to mulligan this hand. Okay, this hand's a lot better. Put away the pose. That hand there didn't really get us anywhere. Okay, so... Here... Just have that enter tapped. Just get the team going. Play this down. Imperial, Imperium Angel. Or Eagle. No blocks here. This deck gets a lot better too because we could add in like Teferi and stuff afterwards. So here. I'm gonna poke in for one. And then get rid of the steel leaf. So there is a rationale to get rid of growth chamber guardian, but if they're spending all their turns just pumping into that, I'm fine. Like, that's their whole turn at this point. We hit him for six next turn. Uh, so them having one in hand is pretty good for us. So there was a play to hold up this and wait to protect this. But I think as long as we start putting pressure, this also gains us the life loss each turn. No blocks here because they can pump this to kill the eagle. Uh, 
And this is why I like flyers. Like, these little dorks are just pinging at our opponent. Okay, so they use this figure there. <laughs> when all your growth chamber are in hand. So I'm just going to do this because this, it nines them. Now they need three removal spells. Got him. So just the combination of stacking anthems is really good when you have a bunch of one drops. Alright, so getting that XP. I was actually playing a really cool uh, Bant, Prime Speaker, Vanifar, Ketra, kind of pull Cavaliers out deck. Spark double copy like Lyra's and Oketra's. It's really funny. Uh, yeah. We'll keep. We have a clock. We have pressure. So obviously they have a cast down. It's a little bad here. Okay, so. That does suck. I was gonna cycle the depose, or we'd have spell pierce. Grixis, what you got? So we're just gonna return that to opponent's hand. I'm gonna get this going. If they want to spend a turn removing this. Surprised to see a lot of like like Thief was pretty much dead with Teferi. Okay, play out the Thief again. Um, I'm just gonna pass the turn here. I want to hold up spell pierce and depose. Let's see if they pay the extra mana here. Ooh, that's tricky. So I'm going to flash in Spectral Sailor to block the Thief of Sanity. Here I'm just going to... Play out the fairy and end the turn. This gives us spell pierce protection and the pose. Best thing is them trying to like tap out for like a nickel bolus, catch it with the spell pierce. So this is the Grixis mid range list. Twilight Prophet. Okay. I will gladly trade. Oh no! Ah, crap. Ah, da, 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 da. We were supposed to depose there. So here. Ah, that probably lost us the game. Or like screwed us up. So we can't punch through, so I think we just hold up our stuff.
it'll just block like that. A bit of a blowout there. Yeah, that cost us the game. That misclick. All right, so Grixis. Uh, seal aways, tribunals, negates. Coming out, these are a little clunky. Rally of the winds. They're going to have a lot of more targeted removal, so just want to be mindful of that. Probably shave down a healer's hawk. So winds they can't get rid of. Let's go down one healer sock. They're going to bring in like cryocarnarium and stuff, so we want to be able to answer that. And one way we do that is by getting down multiple favored wins. We shall keep. So unless we draw like another healer's hawk, which is unlikely. Wow, disfigure. Oh, they duress us. Winged words would probably be my pick unless they have something that gets exiled. Yeah. Or you're good at magic and you get another winged words. Um, I'm going to go Fairy Miscreant here. I want to be able to hold up the Unsummon for Imperial Angel, or Imperium Eagle. I really want this to be an Angel, don't I? That's fine. That telegraphs me they don't have um, Cryocarnarium. Okay, so they hit their mana on Q. Favorable wins is solid. So I'll lead with this. That might force them to burn a spell here. That's the flexibility of Unsummon. We're able to kind of bounce around there. Okay, so they have Thief. Attack in with Healer's Hawk. So through all this, we've kind of buffered our life total. Ah, crap. And now we lose. So now that they get two draws with Thief and a lot of our deck being very cheap, they're going to get a nice uh, advantage going. Well, I got something. Oh, 
They very much got something. Just attack in here. This is interesting because they could take one of our one drops. That makes our block awkward though. Yeah. Grixis is like one of the heaviest in terms of rares and mythic cost. Okay, we got Tribunal. So Tribunal can get back... Like they're getting to the point that they have to start blocking. And if they double block here, both die because of the damage that would be dealt. Or actually, no, they wouldn't. It'd be need four. Uh, so we'll just do that. Gets rid of their anthem. We're holding on. Oh, fry. Opponents had themselves some draws. Mainly off our deck as well. I was happy when Thief wasn't around. And they got another one of our conclaves. So I'll just pass the turn here. Our life total is really high, but there is a fringe chance. Okay, they blew a duress on nothing. Winged words is good. The spectral sailor is good. Oh. Well, there's their clock. They play defensively, that protects their war boss. Spell Pierce doesn't do much. We'll call it quits there. Despite it being 26 to 7, it's important to know when you've lost the game, especially against control. So let's take the skies to best of one. See how that goes. This is fun, and I think uh, once we get add in like Hanged Executioner and uh, Safala, I think it's her name, the the big angel that costs less to cast if you have flyers in play, that gives everything indestructible. Uh, oof, this is an interesting hand. Let's try it. This hand loses so hard to Chain Whirler, but we should get another draw. And this is our first test, Chain Whirler. Don't punish me, monkey man. Ah! White Source, yeah! One more land. One more land, please. Please, please, please. Okay, so they have get to. That's probably coming there. Okay, well, we've got at least one chain whirler insurance. I 
think we race them. They have a lot of ways to turn on spectacle for like light up the stage or something. Let's just go double here. Damn it. Damn it. Ch Chaney boy. Okay, well. Spell pierce. Oh, actually has text on it. Oh, was not expecting that. No blocks here. So I'm going to depose here. Can't do anything about that. Jeez. We're like a land away from really going off, but we've held our own pretty well. I'm gonna unsummon the Chain Whirler because they can't cast it through uh, Frenzy. That's fine. gonna take the damage. They're gonna turn on spectacle anyways. If there's a way for us to turn it off, I would. Sweet. Sweet. The fact this is working against mono red. This, this card versus our deck, if we don't have any of these going, Okay, so they need to kill us this turn. Chandra's not a thing, Steamkin is. They need multiple burn spells for the eagle or an attack. Got him. All right, so we'll wrap up the video here. I'll go and record the next one in the installment, the upgraded version. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And like I said, if you haven't done so already, if you can hit that subscribe button, it goes a long way to helping out the stream. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great one.